you are still watching Waze. Every day, people all over the world celebrate their cultural heritage simply by living their lives in a way that embodies who they are and where they come from. But one day a year is set aside to celebrate the joint history and heritage of the human race. World Heritage Day encourages us to celebrate all the world's cultures and to bring awareness to important cultural monuments and sites and to espouse the importance of preserving the world's cultures. Hmm. World Heritage Day. And what do you think about the holiday? Where would we even say in, a, in okay, so we have uh, we have a couple of um, historic yeah. You know, there's the um, what's this this thing in Ogun in Abiyokuta? Ulumorok. There's the Ulumorok in Abiyokuta. There's a few other ones around the country, different mm. historic and um, places that hold a lot of um, history and heritage, even mm -hmm. for us as a mm -hmm. people. So yes, uh, well, it gives us a time to reflect on where we're coming from. Yeah. And to actually even highlight some of those things that some of those um, things that you know make us who we are, and that we've left right back in the past. So it just brings it to light for us to just remember where we're from, who we are, and have a story. It just brings back the story of our heritage back to us. So yes, it's always good to celebrate such some of those monuments that are dead, <laughs> not well maintained. So exactly. it's also an avenue for the federal government yeah. or the state governments to actually revamp some of those places and still give it that you know yeah you know i think that nigeria has a very beautiful and vast diverse culture yeah and we have a lot of historic places i mean i've been to Eri jesha waterfalls right and I actually hiked on the mountain, and my goodness, it was such a beautiful sight. The waterfalls alone, you feel, honestly, you feel like you're in Zanzibar. It's that beautiful. Mm -hmm. Then, you know, honestly, then you now go to Anambra, the, yeah. what's the name of that cave again? Like, these are things that we pay for. Everybody going to Lebanon now, going to Jeta Goto. Yeah. See, we have these things we in this country. We have all the There's one in um, Ninja, I think, is, is it? Gurara Falls? Yeah, Gurara Falls, Gurara, yes. I've been there, it's magnificent. Hmm. Like, you hike all the way up, and then by the time you get to the top of the mountain, you can see the waterfalls. It's so beautiful. Just like what I would, as a world traveler, I would also go to another country you know, to take a picture. Yes. And it's right here, and it's amazing that we don't even give such places the credit that they deserve because really they hold a lot of like there's there are so many beautiful places even in africa i got, mm -hmm. got to the point where you know i had to say do you know what this you know you're always looking for we're always looking for visas yeah. of, to go on holidays outside the country do you know how many countries are in africa that are beautiful, beautiful. like beautiful like you go there you're like wait this is africa blue mm -hmm. water like clear blue water <laughs> so yeah so we need to do better with our yeah, cultural we do. heritage we do and our tourism yeah as well in nigeria i pray we wake up to in a lot of countries in a lot of countries they're making a whole lot of money, money from tourism yeah. and i don't see why nigeria shouldn't be part of that because people even come here just Let's because see, they know yeah. you, because you are nigerians mm -hmm. they even just come here to see <laughs> you at the <laughs> tourism. <laughs> so not to talk about what the country has to, to you know offer, offer. yeah I guess we'll have this conversation somewhere. <laughs> okay, Mary, what did you find in the news? Um, today, I don't know if they're going to pull up put up the, the video. video. Okay, please. Um, Mary's calling for her video. But basically, it's a story about the black teenager that got shot after going to the wrong house to pick up mm. brothers. Mm. The shooting of Ralph Yall, who rang the doorbell at a house in Kansas City, Missouri, last week led to calls over the weekend for charges against the, right, the white homeowner who opened fire. The 16-year-old was hospitalized with two gunshot wounds, including one to the head. Yeah. According to his family and their lawyers, they said he had been sent to pick up his younger twin brothers at a friend's house on Thursday evening, but mistakenly went to the wrong house about a block away. The man who shot him was taken into custody, held for 24 hours and released with no charges although the police said the case was still under investigation. For investigation of a felony, at which time they're required by Missouri law to be charged or released. The vast majority of cases to include violent crime involve the suspect being released pending further investigation. 
In this case, the prosecutor requires more information from investigators that would take more than 24 hours to compile. We recognize the frustration this can cause in the entire criminal justice process. The women and men of the Kansas City Police Department are working as expeditiously and as thoroughly as we can to ensure the criminal justice process continues to advance as quickly as all involved and our community deserve. On April Sometimes I feel like these people are psychopaths. Yeah, so my question is, is it because you just see a black guy and you just shoot? You don't even... You know, some people just use anything as an excuse yeah. to, to, to... I don't know. To do a lot, to carry out a lot of, you know, Because there was activities no, there was like no threats to say, oh, okay, maybe... Well, maybe he was trying to attack them. Yeah, Jigga, maybe when he was snooping around your house even when that, When did the know, color of a skin become... An avenue to... To, to shoot, to kill. To be, become criminal. Not just one. Or two. just become a target. It's one of those two things. Because he saw him as a criminal. And this guy was just a target. But have you seen the mugshot of the guy? No, I haven't. Okay, maybe then you'd understand. He looks like all those creepy guys from all those movies. My problem so is he the probably had some things on that. After 24 hours. Yeah, right. that's what she was saying. That it's sad for the criminal justice, but then until proper investigation is carried out, they have to release him after 24 Because right hours. now it's just here. Yeah, yeah it's hearsay. that's a normal thing. It's hearsay. There's no video evidence. There's mm -hmm. no evidence. He said, she said, I yes, saw, sad. maybe. So at the end of the day, I just hope that the, the that justice will prevail and, um, you know, the right actions will be taken because it will be un quite unfortunate if this man mm -hmm. is allowed to go scot-free because what it does is that it tells every other person who is likely to, to take the, the toe the same line yeah. Yeah. that they are free to do it and Whatever. there's nothing that the justice system can do mm -hmm. that it will take that long so there's there's need for action and i hope they'll be able to you know investigate and do what is necessary within the shortest possible time before it aggravates some other people. I hope so too. It's Jenny. quite unfortunate. Mm. Mm -hmm. My story. Woman shoes husband for allegedly failing to take her to Saudi Arabia. So this lady mm. and her husband have been married for four years and um, the man decides that he, I think he lost his job well, he wanted to go to Saudi Arabia because he had found something that he needed to do. Um, I think he got a job or something in Saudi Arabia. Um, before his trip, she gathered all her money, gathered everything, and supported him to actually travel to Saudi Arabia. So I don't think they didn't they didn't report if she actually works or she does anything, but she just said that since he has been gone, mm -hmm. she has only sent her money twice. So I think she has only been able to feed for two months. And she had to sue him to court and realize that, oh, this man is actually in Saudi Arabia and he's living a good life. So she decided to take him to court. But when they got to court, the husband told them that they had already been divorced, that he has divorced the woman. <laughs> so right now they're asking the woman, do you have a witness? She, says she doesn't have any witnesses. So now it's like, they, we can't try this case or continue with this case until you have a witness that can actually back what you're saying. So right now it's just pending. How do people marry? How do we end up with this kind of people? How how do they end up in such? Wait, marriages? she didn't know she was divorced. I think she knew that she was divorced, or they were going to be divorced, or something. The story isn't even. It, it's not clear because the entire thing is blowing my mind. It's, it's cool. Yeah, it's, 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 it's blowing my mind. The kind of, the kind of, we don't know. Yeah, because that statement was. Maybe I'm married. Though, yeah, we don't know. And I don't know. Interesting. I've heard different stories this week. <laughs> it's, it's, it's very, it's, it's very shocking. But I'm glad that we're actually, I, I actually took this this particular story of because of our topic. But we'll get there. Yeah. There's so will. many things to unpack. <laughs> we will. I can't wait. I'm <laughs> right, yeah, 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 okay. okay. So my story is about the dead stowaway that was found on KLM flight from Lagos. Hmm. So the story reads that a dead stowaway was. Um, was found on Monday, the 17th of April, discovered in the wheel well of oh. KLM Royal Dutch Airlines Boeing 777, registered PHBQM. The flight flew from Nigeria's commercial hub, Lagos, according to Belgium's um, Aviation 24. It's unclear how the undocumented passenger found his way 
um, into the aircraft, but an investigation has been launched to determine the circumstances surrounding the incident. According to a statement issued by the airline, the dead stowaway was discovered in the wheel well of um, KLM Royal Dutch Airlines Boeing 777 on Monday, April 17, 2023. The statement declared this morning a disease stowaway was found on the airline um, and the aircraft originated from Lagos, Nigeria. It's currently unknown how or when the guy, the man was able to climb into the aircraft, but an investigation has been launched and we're hoping that, um, oh, the passenger is believed to have died from hypothermia, of course. which is normal. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I've, I've not heard this in Nigeria for for a, long time. a very long time for years so i don't know why people even go ahead you know to <laughs> risk their life but i understand I, something better i now. know but i understand you know you've heard of stories of people you know going through the desert mm. going through the ship, the ship mm. or boats not even a ship <laughs> boat <laughs> on the high sea mm. and all that trying to in in looking for better life but what is better life if you're dead? Well, there's always this mentality of, God forbid, it won't happen to me. Or I will make it true. So it somebody true. has hope. Mm. You're like, oh, my own case will be different. But well, you've and never been through the situation. So how do you even know what that's you are well, supposed to look hope. for? That's where the hope is. Believe in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not seen not now. Seen. So that's well, what you're about. Well, well, so, but <laughs> now you can see. different. <laughs> you can Crazy see things again. happening. There's one sound on Snapchat that say ten is happening. You better say may one shelling. Which of them is a sound on Snap? <laughs> it's just amazing. Okay, uh, I, I like I like our conversation for tonight because, like we said, we're about to unpack a whole lot of things. Oh, mm. none of us here is married, but yeah, thank God that we're not even married yet, so that we can mm. know what to do before we get married mm. all right <laughs> we'll take a break now then when we come back the conversation continues see you later <laughs>